What up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Oche featuring Nova One. I'm the leader of Nova One, and I'd like to introduce all of you to how to play level one, how to get involved. And I figure the best way to do that is just to introduce you to our clan family. It's Nova One at the top, having rewards at the end of every season, which is about every month. And then we have five feeders that are all created equal and that funnel up to and that I recruit from for Nova One. I wanted to show you this screen. This is what it looks like on an iPhone when you're switching accounts. So you can either accept or not. I'm not going to accept going into my level 11 account. So now I'm still on my level one. So I'd like to introduce you to our clan. So right here, we're in Nova one right now. The season just, just started. And so all the Nova clans, Nova one clans and the feeders have a similar description. We're a Nova Esports level one team, That the Nova Esports level one team. At Nova level one, we have about 500 subscribers, uh, followers on Twitter. At, at Nova Esports team is has about 50,000 followers. That's kind of our parent company. Um, our Discord is our chat application, which I'll introduce to you guys later. Our feeders are one in various languages that represent our top players so game over right here at 3721 his personal best is 3967 his current world record he is from turkey so we have burr which is turkish for one edno which is bulgarian for one eins which is german for one uno spanish for one and uno romanian for one and i'll show you guys what those clans look like right now so we can look at someone from burr just to go in order, I try to have a good selection of friends from all the different feeders. Here we go. So, Burr, we have players all the way up to 3,200 trophies. And right around now, we're trying to accept some new players in the 0 to 1,000 range. But um, everybody's climbing, so it's hard to do that. We'll probably come up with a... A new feeder soon that has low level players. So there's Burr, Edno, um, Bulgarian for one. We have Pekka, who's top five, at least maybe in the top three right now. Um, overall, 3741. This is PB. He's from Bulgaria, 14 years old, unless he's had a birthday recently. Then we have Eins, who, uh, so we're all pretty full right now. At the end of the clan chest, we tend to we tend to make sure that people are active and, and let people go that aren't. And so we might have some openings coming up soon if you're interested in joining. And then we have Uno, Spanish for one. We have this, this Spanish flag right there. And we have, yep, guys up in the 32 or so range. We have guys in 3,000, you know, almost all of our feeders. And, um, and they're really happy to be there, I think. And here we go. We got some lower level players, which is great. And um, it's great for them to learn. And then our, our guys from Nova One end up going in and training all the feeders. And then we have Unu as well, which is um, Romanian for one. And we have our Romanian YouTuber, Eddie Stan. All right, so that's kind of an overview of all of our clans. I'd like to show you guys what our Discord chat looks like. So this is where we communicate with our clans like as a family so all the clans have access to this chat and um, so it's great for just getting together sharing ideas then we have individual chats for each clan and we're hosted by Nova EG which is Nova Elite Gaming history behind that is uh, Clash with Ash his old clan and his previous directors that are great and do a really nice job of just setting us up with with everything we need here uh, give us good advice and then we also have the leader chats that help us kind of behind the scenes get all organized and everything so you can see 
a link to Discord, our specific server on in our Twitter at Nova Level One, LVO One, and then also on the description of any of our clans. So also when you're searching for our clans, search Nova the letter I and then the clan name. So when you do get involved, um, or when you do sign up for for this Discord channel, you'll be invited to the recruitment channel. See this guy's interested in joining Nova Uno. And then you'll be added to Nova One Recruitment and you hang out here until we can find a place for you. So now I'm gonna show you our Twitter. Uh, we're trying to promote Nova, well, Nova One is trying to trying to get all the people in the community to help uh, put a petition together to get legendaries in the shop again from Supercell. So please go on there and do that if you can. Then um, we have just regular postings about level one. Here we have our winners of the season, this previous season about a week ago, game over, uh, won $25, awarded $25 for at 39.12 at the time, trainer at 36.54. He subsequently got it to 3,800, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Uh, his gameplay, because he uses a Mega Knight, which is pretty great. And then we have Andy Pro 36.22, all getting rewards sponsored by Clash with Ash. And you can see our description right here. So Clash with Ash sponsors us, gives us great advice and features us in a lot of his videos. Then I'd like to show you guys what the CR leaderboard looks like for level one. So there are 20 clans in this group. Uh, here's the website. And we've just identified uh, guys in my clan identified the just the top 20 level one clans and then this is a rolling you know kind of a active leaderboard that'll be up to date pretty much right with the game and so right now Nova one's in the top four out of five you know as far as the top 10 goes we're maybe uh, six out of the top 10 and uh, which is pretty great FA level one hopefully they're going to come back We'll see how, how Galadon can do that. Hopefully he does. Um, so you can click here, you know, clicking on game over, you can get a lot of stats. You can see your own stats. It's pretty great. You can see once this loads that game over is played five weeks on the, um, on the ladder, which I don't know if that's a, that's a good or bad thing. It is what it is. And so next, I'd like to show you guys a little bit about Nova Creative. So Nova Esports does a lot of great things for the community. One of those things is Nova Creators, which is led by Clash with Ash and a couple great managers with him as well. And he just gives back to the community, created a group that just helps young YouTubers and other content creators like on Twitch. There is out of that group, a clan that was created for our main accounts. And so Hampish and Surfing, Surfing Boy are in that clan and so am I. So Nova Creative, this is the YouTube channel for it. Check it out. A lot of great, um, not only Clash Royale, there's, there's one of my videos right there, 3940 game over. Not only Clash Royale, but also Brawl Stars and other games that are Supercell related. So they i think there's 3000 or so followers on youtube right now and it's pretty exciting so check that out coming up for you guys i'm going to give you some gameplay on level one just going from about a thousand trophies all the way up into 3800 so stick with me i know this is going to be a bit of a long episode but I think it will 100% be worth it because we have another level one that hits legendary arena, 3,800 trophies. So it's pretty exciting. So right now we've got Sun Guy. He's in Nova Uno, which is Romanian for one. And he's facing his opponent right here, a level six. So when you're at this low level, you really, yeah, you got to use fireball. You got to find a way to distract the troops like he did with the tombstone baby dragon is going to be with you really until you get like an inferno dragon or um until you maybe get the uh the tornado 
So that's gonna be a very important card for you. Helps tank for a Goblin Barrel. Goblin Barrels are huge. So we'll see. So right now, um, don't be scared. Like, so when you're going from one, uh, from zero trophies to 2,000 or so, expect to lose a tower. That's just gonna happen. So this is a tough matchup. He's got a balloon, you know, um, so, and it's, you know, it's really tough. So Musketeer, before you get a lot of these solid air attacking cards, you gotta use Musketeer and you gotta use Witch. Um, one of the best cards to use, and here's a perfect play right here from Sun Guy, where he had the giant skeleton tanking and he threw his goblin barrel. That's just textbook for for level one. So that'll take you all the way up to you know that that giant skeleton will probably take you all the way up to mid 2,000 2,500 trophies or or more. It can it can really be great, especially when you combine it with a tornado, which I don't think Sun Guy has yet. So all that we've seen so far, he has no legendaries yet. He he really this this is one of his this is actually his um, personal best here if he's able to bring it out. And so yeah, you got to be real careful with minion horde. But he did a great job putting his witch in the back there, just building up a pretty big push here. He's got more damage done to the king tower, so that's what he's going for. Skarmy is going to be your best friend once you get it. That's gonna be a card that you'll use all the way up um, game over and most of the top level one players are still using Skarmy. Just a lot of damage does great. It's great for you when you are needing to distract troops. So it's just a really good versatile card for a level one. So Sun Guy here is just trying to play it slow but also realizing that his opponent is going for a three crown it seems as well and um another thing so sun guy actually doesn't prefer to play ladder he really likes playing two versus uh two v two and that's a lot so that's a lot of fun for him it is a lot of fun for level ones it can get tough at the very height of ladder so i i have some gameplay that i'll probably show in another episode just how fun it can be especially when you're you're up where i am around 3,000 trophies and you're playing with someone who's you know maybe around the 1,000 2,000 mark you know it gets pretty really enjoyable and it's it's actually it's, it's much easier because you're you're playing someone at a trophy level that's somewhere in between you and so so that can really help out so here i'm just looking at sun guys deck and and just 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 checking it out here the fact that he got a personal best is really great and also his clan unu you know it's a great clan that um you know that, that i'd encourage you guys to join hopefully it's under 50 out of 50 right now and who knows um soon we'll either create like a free to play clan which would be great for the new new people or Maybe uh, Nova, uh, who knows, you know, I speak should parle un peu de français. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do that. So right now we have uh, Triangle Light. He's actually, so every week we have a new um, visitor in our uh, main clan in Nova 1. And so we brought in Triangle Light because he was the top clan chest earner in uh, Eins. And so that was, uh, you know, very exciting, exciting for him. That's just a really cool thing that we do in this community, just trying to reward activity in our family clans. And um, and he gets to visit with us and we try to help him out as much as we can. So now, so we're facing a level seven now. This is about double the trophies at 2000. And this is also for a personal best from Triangle Light. He's got his Goblin Barrel, which Knight is a common, is a, is a card that is often used. He's high enough to have Tornado here, so we'll get to see how that works. This is gonna be a tough push. The opponent seems to know what he's doing, but so does Triangle there, which is with a great Tornado. Tornado, Witch, Skarmy, he defended that really well, and you can see no damage done on his tower. So that's one thing that, if you watch Game Over's replays, that's something that he is able to do in the early game, and he'll spend a lot of elixir just to avoid absolutely zero damage um, on his tower. Now, 
Triangle got excited there because he, he got a lot of value for his giant skeleton. So, so that was a good play there along with his prince to clean up the witch and then maybe get a, a strike here on the tower, but looks like it was stopped from, let's see, nope, not able to get it from the Skarmy. So again, he's probably thinking right now, you know, hold till 10 and put his witch, witch in the back. That's often what, um, what I would do, which is great and as level one because the skeletons act as a distracting troop for whatever the opponent is gonna put down. I probably wouldn't have put the Goblin Barrel there, but it worked out for him. Usually you want a bit of a tank for that. Same kind of play with the um, from his opponent there. And uh, looks like still uh, Triangle is able to defend it really well. So, yeah, grinding up to and around mid-2000 is um, can get pretty can get can go pretty quickly but then it can get pretty tough as you as you get in the mid mid 2000s if you don't have uh too many legendaries and so we'll see actually in the next one from Okshi just what it's like in the mid 2000s with no legendaries at all and you got to be you got to be real skilled and pretty um pretty careful there so here, uh, he had a great Goblin Barrel there with his Baby Dragon tanking, which is exactly what you want to do. Baby Dragon, Prince, I guess mostly Baby Dragon and Giant Skeleton are the perfect tanks for the Goblin Barrel. Great defense there from his Giant Skeleton. And here he's got like, what's amounting to a big push in the last five seconds. Again, he's got his Baby Dragon tanking for his Goblin Barrel there and then he took it. The W. So, again, Triangle Light visiting from one of our feeder clans. So if you do, if you do join one of our feeder clans, you know maybe we'll up it to two visitors a week, which you know I think it can be great. We we really want to focus on training and uh, and just keeping the community healthy. So next up we got Okshi, which is um, he's from Edno. That's Bulgarian for one, and he is going for, I, I believe, his personal best as well. We just got a lot of personal bests here. So again, same cards, a lot of the same cards as um, as the as the other players that we saw with the Witch and the Giant Skeleton. But he's also got Zap, he's got Tornado, and you guys will see just how how skilled he is with those two cards and how, how you can defend, especially um, just large swarms with those cards really well. So he did a good job there using his prints to be able to take out the wizard and also get some hits on the tower. So no damage done on Okshi's towers. And let's see, he's holding at 10 and just was able to put down a P.E.K.K.A. This is the first P.E.K.K.A. that we've seen in this video. Tough that he just put down seven Elixir. Now he's got to try to defend this Prince, which he does really well with that Skarmy and his opponent didn't have a zap or anything like that ready that's one thing if you can you know sometimes okay this move right here i had never seen before so he's, he preemptively poisoned as his packet is going down the lane and as you can see he had the zap and the poison ready and then all that just to get two hits on the tower so that's that's just a really interesting play which i think um, that I'd never seen before and that I think that probably he has to play. He told me that he just hasn't gotten a legendary yet. So, but this is really pretty amazing. He's able to get up to 2,300 trophies, no legendary. Great move right there. You want to avoid any damage at all from the wizard. And, uh, you know, the wizard's worth five. You put down your giant skeleton worth six. You can tank the wizard and take care of him and end up getting, let's see, Yep, he got damage on the tower there from the wizard. So, again, he's uh, he's having to defend pretty hard on this right side, already down to um, around 300 health. So that's pretty dangerous. He only has, you know, um, he has a thousand damage on the left tower, but having to push on the right because of all the opponents elixir the, the opponent's spending on that side. So here, his opponent does a pretty. Uh, tough move for, for his opponent in that he put down his troops right in front of the giant skeleton. Now he's doing a quick push on the left 
Poison, and Prince to finish it out. So that was pretty exciting. So so his huge pushes, I mean, his, his skilled pushes with the Prince and with the P.E.K.K.A. involved a preemptive Poison, which is great if they were planning on defending your Prince or P.E.K.K.A. with a Swarm Troop like a Skarmy. It just negates that. Here it is, personal best, 2302. Okshi from Nova Edno and there's his deck right there if you guys are don't have any legendaries that that's a pretty good deck you just got to be really careful because that's a really expensive deck you know you got a seven elixir a five elixir a six elixir card so whenever you put that down you better have an idea of what you're going to do with it so again I'm showing Pekka here he's the top Bulgarian that we have probably top three right now on the leaderboard go check that out that we showed earlier stick with me guys because coming up we've got actually myself at 3100 trophies and then we have we have a player that hit legendary arena so check that out here is game over's deck which also happens to be mine because i figure hey if game over can get to 3100 trophies i'm only at 3000 i must be able to get up to maybe 3500 or so but <laughs> I've recently hit 3,200 for the first time, for the second time um, today. So it's 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 not easy, guys. <clears throat> and this is uh, this is some, you know, some some not so great gameplay from me. But this is you know what a normal person would do with Game Over's deck as a level one. So I'm playing a level eight here. I forgot to mention that Okshi last match was versus a level nine. So. Let's see, he put down a pump. I never really know what to do with pumps. And so, you know, we'll just have to, you know, I just kind of play it by ear because really uh, this deck has nothing to deal with pumps directly. You know, I have, I don't have a goblin barrel. I, you know, it's, and, and even if I could, I don't know if that would, you know, pumps are so high, you just have to play really smart. So not that I was playing extremely smart, but a typical move that I'd see maybe game over do is put a, Put an inferno dragon in the back and just let it go and see what happens so caught the princess there just not really hoping for much you know sometimes you know i, I try to either preemptively put a princess down or put it down kind of off to the side so they don't get value i always try to put down my you know wizard's really popular at the level that i'm at and i try to put down the bandit for the wizard if you can time it just right which i believe our player that made it into Legendary Arena can, you can kill the wizard without taking any damage at all, which is pretty great. So the Lumberjack with the recent buff, I also put him in the back just to cycle. And we're seeing what's going to happen here. So he played a huge, you know, big elixir commitment in the back. So that's what I did with my Sparky. And I'm hoping that the Sparky can just do as much damage as possible before much damage is done to my tower. Now here, unfortunately, this is where I lose my tower because he had a trailing bandit with the with the golemites um, just just going nuts. I'm sure if anybody at work is listening to me, they're they're gonna think I'm just I've gone off my rocker talking about golemites. But um, but we'll see. You know I own it, so there you go. And uh, here um, I just distracted myself, but. I, you know, I don't even know what I did there, guys. Just rewind it. You know, I've got, I got the Skarmy. I tried to, I think I, what I tried to do is bait out some kind of zap with the Skarmy, but he didn't end up having the right cards, and then I end up kind of taking the tower with the Inferno Dragon. So now, you know, it's just all about reaction here. He's got multiple princesses. I'm just thinking, okay, get a banded down, just dash on his princess, whatever. You know, here, I'm, I wasted some Elixir there. Not really sure what to do, you know, just kind of cycling. Um, he hasn't, so he's put down his eight elixir. Now I'm thinking I probably got to just go hard. No, I didn't think that. I <laughs> I want to defend, so I got to put my Sparky in the back. You know, he's got, I probably didn't need to log there. That was probably not the best log because I had the princess that could, that could clean up. What I was able to do there, since I had cycled that Inferno Dragon, it took out the golem. My Sparky was there, perfect timing. So now this is one of the things you try to do is just create a huge push for 
for level one, and that's why it's tough if your opponent has a, has a big spell like a rocket. So um, ended up taking that out just because I think, because I was able to slow play it a little bit, he had his golem in the back, but wasn't able to really defend me very well. And so, you know, that was, uh, as you can see, I go from loss to defeat to loss, but, um, but you know, I'll figure it out. You know, I just, uh, you know, I'll just keep trying, right? And so Gollum with the pump, you know, I was pretty excited about that, which is why I wanted to share it with you guys. This is gameplay that pretty much I have, you know, game over's full deck. So that's kind of what you need to have. I started and then decided not to show another replay because you don't, you guys don't want to see me. You want to see Trainer. So Trainer, 3,800 trophies. He shared all these different replays. I'm going to show you one of them with a... Um, Lava Loon, which should be, you know, pretty exciting because you're probably wondering, you know, he's got, uh, he's got a, he's got a heavy deck, Mega Knight, he's got the, um, the Sparky, as you can see, you know, he's got, he's wanting to avoid, again, at the beginning of the match, avoiding all damage on his towers. All right, so Pump as well. So he's going up against a Pump Lava Loon deck, you know, um, so, you know, we'll see what happens because, to defend the, the Lava Hound, he's got his Infernal Dragon, he's got his Princess, but other than that, he doesn't have much for air. So he's he's put his um, Sparky down the lane. Just, yeah, so sort of like the way I won by, by just kind of slow playing, putting cards in the back, being able to build up a big push. You know, he allowed the Sparky to die there to a Knight. So really kind of low, um, not not doing so well, but his opponent plays that, um, plays that Lava Hound. But, um, you know, it looks like since he is playing slow, he's able to, you know, be full on Elixir with the Lava Hound coming across. And still, you know, his, his um, Inferno Dragon was still able to take out that a little bit. Now he's cycled, which is interesting there, kind of um, distracting the Mega Minion for a little bit. And then trying as best he can to defend. Hasn't played his Mega Knight at all yet and lost the tower so that he's gonna have to come back here guys now um this is one of the matches that he that he played in order to get up to his trophy best and legendary arena just over 3800 trophies now he finally plays the mega knight puts as much as he can behind it and that's gonna be hard for his opponent to defend who ended up playing a balloon in the back which isn't gonna do much for defense so he's got his mega knight bandit on the tower you know, trying to get a, uh, sneaking a Lumberjack in there, which just got that big health buff. And he's got the trailing, wow, his, you know, his opponent just can't handle it. So he's got the, the trailing Lumberjack and the trailing, and the, the bandit. Oh my gosh, he just completely took it out. So guys, um, thank you for watching. This has been um, just a really exciting episode for me to offer. To all of you who are interested in level one, I just want to encourage you to look up at Nova LVL1. Look for Nova, the letter I, one in game. You know, check out our feeders um, Burr, Edno, Eins, Uno, Unu. You know, join any of them and then check our descriptions if we're going to have a new level one account. That's where it's going to be. So, again, very exciting to have you guys on my channel. Please subscribe, do what you can, clash on, and enjoy life.